In this scenario, we're dealing with a manufacturer of sandals. It says the Comfort Shoe Company manufactures sandals. Typically, 0.5% of their sandals are defective. So we've got a crate here with 100 different sand sandals in it, and three of them are going to be tested. We're trying to find the probability that all three sandals are defective. And then we've got a rounder answer at the end. <clears throat> and there are two different ways that we can do this one. Uh, one is we know that the route uh, or the probability of it being defective is 0 0.05. And there are going to be three of these, so we can just take 0 0.05 cubed, and that will give us our answer. I'm going to show you using the binomial probability formula, though, because that way will work as well. Um, so the binomial probability formula is this right here. And we've got a combination right here. We've got some P's, Q's. Um, N's and R's. So we've got to determine what those are. So let's kind of go through each one of them. P and Q, the of is P is the probability of getting three, testing all three, and having all three uh, be defective. And the Q is a probability of not getting three. In other words, when we test them, that those uh, we will not have any, we will not have three. Excuse me, that are defective. Not all three of them will be defective. Either one or two will, or none will. Okay, so. And then we have N and R. R is 3. R is the number of um, successes. There will be three successes what we're looking for. And N is the number of trials. So we're going to do test three of them, and all three will be defective is what we're trying to determine, what we're trying to calculate. So the probability that three are defective, first we do the combination here. Combination of three choose three. Looks like this. And you can type this all into your calculator. It'll be just fine. It'll work out pretty good. Then we, we multiply that by the probability of success. And we know that the probability of success, in this case, that the shoe is defective, the probability that the shoe is defective is 0.05. So it'll be 0 0.005. It's 0.05%, which is 0 0.005. Then we need to determine what the probability of not getting three defective ones. And uh, so in other words, probability of not, um, uh, of not getting a defective shoe. In this case, would be 1 minus 0 0.005, so it would be 0 0.995. And if we do 0 0.995, and uh, we're going to multiply that by 0 0.005, but we've got to raise them to the exponent as well. The exponent on our um, the defective one would be we want three of those. So that's the number of times that that will occur. That will be three. Then the probability, excuse me, we raise the um, the probability of failure. In other words, that we don't pick one that's defective is 3, the number of trials, minus the number of successes. So this would be, end up being just a 0. Now we're just going to plug this into our calculator right here, and that will spit out our answer right here. Uh, we've got to round it to the nearest 9 decimals. Um, that's about the only tricky thing, really, on this one. If you were to plug this one right here into your calculator, it would equal 1. We know that anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Also, if we were to plug this one into our calculator, the number of ways we can choose 3 from 3 is just one way. So that's why if you wanted to take the shortcut, you could go 0 0.005 cubed would give us our answer to. That is what, what we have written over here. Either way will work just fine on this particular one.